Previously on Yakuza 4 Remastered. But you're always hitting me, spending what I earned on yourself, and like fucking setting fire to the places I live in. Cat, all right? I told you I'm a fucking artist, okay? It's just how I express myself. How many times I gotta fucking tell you this shit? And now back to. Uh. Kiryu? Kiryu? Kiryu! Sneako B! Back with some more Yakuza 4 Remastered. We last left off! Tanamura finally found Yasuko and she was just kind of hanging out at a bar for some reason. I don't know, what the hell is she doing here? We're gonna get out of town with your like 10 million yen? And ah oh, shit, your boss men are after her and God, Jesus Christ, she's gone. They took her to the docks. We gotta bust our way in there. But first, let's help Yusuke get laid. Yeah, get some Yusuke, get some. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, what was I doing again? Oh, yeah, that's right. Gotta go to the docks, gotta go save her. I'm gonna kick the shit out of this guy. We're gonna break this guy's arm. Oh, God, there's oil everywhere. Oh, my ass. We arrive only to see Shibata and, Ar and Arai there for whatever reason. Shibata getting weird and kinky with freaking Yasuko. Only for Arai to kill him on the spot, saying that apparently he has been working with Katsuragi. And that this was all from all the plan from the beginning. All according to Kekaku, which is very interesting. Based on what we were hearing before from Akiyama about a ride, it seemed like he was a fairly honorable kind of guy, potentially, but I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. It did seem like when you when I went back and rewatched that scene, it seemed like he was looking at a ride like questioningly, right? When he was like, again, you know, getting ready to assault uh, Yasuko. He did say, well, you know, it's I can repay the, the debt in blood that she paid, right? But like, I, I don't know. I don't know if he was actually planning to really do anything or if he was going to take her somewhere away. I, I don't know. But once he started assaulting her, right, that's when he pulled out the gun and shot and killed him, saying that we still need her. So I don't know. I'm not I'm not exactly sure who the hell is calling the shots here. I think he was thinking it was Shibata, but now it's like with Katsuragi-san working with uh, Arai as well. And what does Arai even have to do with any of this? Figures the guy that voices Kenpachi would also be uh, one of the major antagonists of this game. Who want to thunk it? There's no way he, they would bring that guy on board and have him just do a minor role. But it's good. It's got me by the balls right now. Story's been just hidden on all cylinders for me. But anyway, last episode, uh, Master of Light said, uh, here are the ages of the playable characters. So Akiyama is 32. Oh my God, I'm older than, what? I'm older than Akiyama? Shut up. Akiyama looks like he's like in his 40s, but okay. Saijima is 45. That one, that one sounds about right. Tanamura is 29. That one also seems to be about right. And Kiryu is now 41. Tanamura is the youngest playable character so far, only beaten by Kiryu and Majima and Zero, who are 20 and 24 respectively. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I didn't even think about like, yeah, I guess Sajima would probably be older than Kiryu. If you look at him back in the past, he definitely seems older than Majima. Actually, wait, is he older than, was he older than Majima? Actually, now that I think about it, no, he actually would have been younger than Majima in the past. Majima looked younger than Sajima was. I think Sajima's kind of has one of those faces that makes him look considerably older than everybody else. Yeah, Sajima actually would have been 20 back in that flashback. I think the one that really gets me though is Akiyama being 32. He really looks like he's like, I'd say like 40, you know? I think it's just the case that most of these like Yakuza-esque looking dudes just look, have that like older look to them. That's why I think Tanamura is kind of a nice uh, breath of fresh air because yeah, he is a bit of a baby face, right? I mean, maybe not quite as much with the new face here, but still he's significantly younger looking than everybody else. Uh, but Master Light, thank you so much for actually uh, answering one of my lingering questions about the age of these characters. I, I don't know why I didn't say so in the freaking profiles for them. Um, it is that reason you are coming to the day. By the way, you guys should also sort of point out that the reason most likely why Sega decided to recast the character here and like change his face wasn't so much that, well, they, they wanted to get him out of the game because it was a bad look or, you know, like the same thing with Hamura. It's more that he retired and very likely they were not no longer allowed to use his likeness. So they actually were, they had to essentially change it. I see. I kind of figured honestly that, well, I don't know. I, I don't actually know how the deals for these, these kind of things work, but I, I sort of figured that once you sort of became part of that project, that your, the ownership of your likeness or whatever, essentially, at least partially belongs to Sega and whether you stay or go is ultimately up to them and not you, but I suppose these guys have like their own talent agencies and stuff. So probably they probably have a bit more uh, server than I think I was giving credit for. 
Oh, Ryan, you guys also did correct me. I, I said that I think the the only other time we had cutscenes in our sub stories was in three. That's actually not true. We've, we've had that in one and two. I forgot about that. I don't know if five is going to have any more or not. Since five is actually the, the jumping engine, right? Like this, this is actually the last game in the engine they were using where everyone's hands are like really big. And then the next game is essentially the engine that was used for Yakuza 0. So I wouldn't be surprised if that this is literally the last game where we see these cutscenes, and it's just like from five onward is they're gone, which I, I really, I really hope that they bring that back at some point, because I really think it does add a lot. It makes sub stories feel more substantial. I, it's like it's such a small thing, too. Or hell, you know, even do it. Do us even better. Give us some actual voice acting in the sub stories. You know, not just making the, the main story stuff. Have them throw in a few lines every now and then for important parts. I don't know. I think maybe a little something. But yeah, Tonomer's cat Tonomer's section start off with a bang. That felt like that would have been like the like the third ch uh, third chapter of his story, but that was actually the end of the first one. So uh, yeah, he's got a lot of shit going on here. Let's go ahead then and uh, head on to uh, chapter two. Let's get started. So I don't. I'm like trying to figure out what the fuck Arai is trying to do here. Chapter two, the perpetrator. I got Yasuko out of there, at least. I don't think Yasuko is going to be able to get out of here. かくまうようなこと。この店特製ブレンドの中国茶だ。その辺の適当な茶とは味が違う。とりあえずそれでも飲んで落ち着け。One sip of your tea and you'll feel right as rain. You're a police officer, right? Yes. I heard what you were talking about earlier. You heard it, right? See, look right here. This, this is a perfect example of what they could do. It's not pre-rendered, but it is voice acted. I'm a police officer. I'm not a police officer. But... But... If you're doing a murder, I can't do it to you.殺人の証拠がないからな。だから証拠が揃うまでは、こうして身柄を拘束するしかない。ま、二度後に付き合ってるくらいに思っといてくれ。どうして私の身柄をあなたの目的は何なの俺はずっとあんたを探していた。十年
I was supposed to meet him at a cafe in Camarocha in the early afternoon. But he called me in the morning and asked me if we could reschedule for that evening. Did he say why? I don't remember exactly. We said the hit was a setup. He said, your brother pulled the trigger on these men. But he wasn't the real perpetrator. I'll have proof of it soon, so hang tight. It means someone else was involved. And he was on the, onto their identity. Before your father hung up, he said the hit wasn't as simple as aggression between two yaks of factions. He said it was a part of a much greater plot, orchestrated by a powerful force. The last thing he told me was, take care of yourself. What do you mean by a powerful force? I never figured that out. But when your father and others showed up, I got so scared. I left Kamurocho immediately. I see. Can't blame you. So your father was? You think because of his investigation of that case, somebody had... Looks like it. Well, you just told me to shed some new light on the things. It did? I always thought the person who killed my dad was either from the Tojo or the Uena Sewa. But something just never seemed right. How? How so? A cop killing normally raises a firestorm in the force. An extra thorough investigation always follows because it's the one of our own. But my father's death was classified as accidental, even though it was clearly murder. That just doesn't happen. Do you think that powerful force your father mentioned was responsible for killing him? It's possible. Maybe my old man came across something he wasn't sp meant to see. If that's true, this whole thing's even scarier than I thought. But back to you, Yasuka-san. Why come back to Kamarocha after 25 years? And why are you bumping off the Shibata family members? Does that have something to do with your brother? Don't worry. Even if you tell me the truth, the police won't do a thing. None of my superiors are likely to believe a word I say anyway. Guess that comes in handy for once. Please, I need to know. I was contacted by a man, man named Katsuragi from the Uena Sewa clan. He told me he'd save my brother, but on the condition that I brought him a hundred million yen or agreed to murder. Oh, wait, it was a wait, was it hundred million? I thought it was, I thought it was ten. Hey, was it? No, actually, I guess it was a hundred million. I was like, it was, it was an insane amount. Kasaragi said that. How did he get any, even get in touch with you? This was several months ago. I was living out in Chiba when I got a call from a man who claimed to be a detective in Tokyo. I know someone who can save your brother. How about I introduce you to him? He said this right out of the blue. Wait, this is someone from the police? Yes. Because it was the police, I never thought to question it. Hmm. Would this potentially be the, the guy the, the guy that was chewing out Tanamura before? So I rushed here as fast as I could to meet this mystery person. He turned out to be Katsuragi. That's right. What did he say to you? He told me he was one of, of the victims of the shooting 25 years ago. And if he testified that my brother wasn't the killer, the case would have to be re-examined. Which would mean he could be released. Off of the price of 100 million yen, or murder. Yes, but 100 million is such an impossible sum of money. So you chose murder. Why did Kasaragi send you after people connected to the Shibata family? No, it was it was 10 million, right? Right? Okay, so that so she she went for murder, then what did she worth all money for? He didn't mention anything about them belonging to the Shibata family, but But Okay, so she was because she's supposed to be the one that killed uh supposedly the uh the guy that we saw at the beginning, the, the boss of that sort of low ranking group that Kido was a part of. To say eliminating certain individuals would help prove my brother's innocence. That's right. By murdering more people, we can get your brother out for murdering people. Certain individuals. I think he wanted to silence the people who knew the truth about what happened. なるほどな。これで一つ見えてきたな。25年前の事件、カツラギとシバタは裏で繋がっていた。おそらくシバタは25年前のことを餌に今もカツラギを脅していた。I guess a rise of, oh, he, he said he's always been. Saejima Taiga ga okonatta Ue no Yoshiharu shugeki jiken ni wa motto ura ga aru hazu da. He's always been Katsuragi's guy. Mondai wa dou shite ano arai ga Katsuragi to te o kun da no Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's what I'm wondering too. Masaka, kono mai okotta ano kousou jiken te no mo? Ah, saisho kara shikumareta mon datta kanousei ga tagai. あの 
釜をかけようえ荒井ってやつの話じゃ桂木はまだあんたを必要としているあんたの身柄を餌にして交渉すれば桂木も取り合わないわけにはいかないちょちょっとまー、あ、ちゃんでもそれじゃこの人の身が何も本当に身柄を渡すわけじゃない向こうはこの人の居場所が知りたいだけだ身の安全は保証するどうだそれでいいだろう断りますどうしてだってそれじゃお兄ちゃんは助からないから私には葛城の証言が必要なのうん Maybe heard he's out of jail. 安子さんあなたは葛城に脅迫されて命の危険を冒してまで殺人をする羽目になったあの男が素直に証言するはずなんてない<笑>それなのに今でも桂木の話信用するっていうのかあんたの兄貴の無実は俺が証明するそれに俺もどうしても親父の殺された理由あの事件の真相が知りたいんだ勝手ねえあなたに何ができるっていうの全部自分のためだけじゃない安子さん私にとってお兄ちゃんは全てだったお兄ちゃんが大好きだった本当に大好きだった25年前のあの日お兄ちゃんがいなくなってから私はずっと一人だったあなただけじゃないのよ寂しい思いをしているのは。ヤクザも警察も桂木も真犯人なんてどうでもいい私はもう一回お兄ちゃんに会いたいそれだけなのヤスカさん Please I need your help I swear I'll reunite you with your brother. And you won't have to kill anymore. Nah. He's not much different than you. All he wants is justice for the murder of the father he left. Can you find it in your heart to help him? Please, look at me. Alright. I'll help you. You will? Korewa. Korewa? カムロ中央パーキングそこに止めてある車の鍵ですその車のトランクの中に、oh, no, 1億円入っていますえ私は桂木の命令に従って罪を犯しました最初は一人か二人殺せばいいと思ってたけど桂木の要求は止まらなかった次から次へ人を殺すよう私に命令してきた、so、でも私はもう人を殺せなかった殺したくなかっただから借りたんです誰にですかスカイファイナンスの秋山さんって方に借りましたスカイファイナンスそのお金はあなたに預けますもし桂木がその1億円で兄の無実を証言してくれると言ったらそのお金を渡してくださいそれはわかるんですがどうして私に私は今から沖縄に行きます沖縄今からですかあさってが兄の死刑執行日なんです兄が前にいた東京刑務所の刑務官の方が教えてくれましたお兄さん今沖縄の刑務所に Is it not being announced on the news that 実移送されたみたいです Such must free? I thought it was あくまで内密にということで教えてくれました Maybe they're keeping it hush hush 多分私が25年間
毎日面会に通い続けたからですね結局一度も会えませんでしたけど25年間毎日もう時間がないんですだからもし死刑執行が止められなかった時はうんせめてお兄ちゃんの近くにいたい私は谷村さんを信じるしかありませんどうか兄のことよろしくお願いしますThat's、ah, no use. So I don't understand what I say. Sorry. <laughs> Over that, me doing that, making that sound is not、uh, demeaning at all to anyone who speaks Tagalog. I just, I legitimately, I don't even know, I don't even know where to begin, okay? This is just me being a stupid, ignorant American. Hey there, officer. Oh, Tanamara san. You couldn't have come at a better time. Is something wrong? No, but it sounds like this woman is looking for someone. But she can't speak Japanese, so I'm not really sure what to do. I was trying to get her to follow me back to the station, so we. Wait. What? <laughs> oh, that's funny. That, that was a goof of the game, actually. Her mouth started moving, so I thought she was talking. And I looked down at the message box as the officer. Yeah, they, they got the wrong、uh, lip flaps there for, for that one.、Um, I was trying to get her to follow me back to the station so we could have an in, in, interpreter help us, but she doesn't seem to be keen on leaving the spot. I see. I'll take things from here. And then <laughs> her mouth is still moving again. Thanks and sorry about this. Can I leave her to you then? What? What? Who, who's talking? Can I leave her to you then? No worries. If you had, had taken her to the station, I would have been in, the interpreter anyways. So it saves time if I just do it, do it here instead. Eh, you got a point there. Thanks again. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Well then, I'm a police officer. You can talk to me about whatever it is you're having trouble with. Great. I finally found someone I can actually converse with. My name is Tanamara. I'm with the Tokyo Metro Police Department. Who are you? I'm Nair. It's my first trip to Japan. I still haven't got my bearings quite yet. Nair, nice to meet you. I'm guessing you're from Southeast Asia. Anyway, you're looking for someone, right? That's right. Well, actually, I'm a detective too. You? A detective? That's right. I found a, followed a criminal to Japan to bring him to justice. Can you just do that? The Japanese police know what you're, you're up to here. I contacted the Japanese police before I left. They're supposed to be helping. But once I got here, everyone seemed so busy. No one would help me with my investigation. Oh, I see. Everything's a bit, mess bit of a mess right now, so I bet not everyone knows you're even here. I was also told I would be given an in interpreter. And I'm guessing you didn't get that either. I apologize for the inconvenience. It's not your fault. I'm so, ha just so happy to. Finally, talk to someone I can understand. Glad to be of assistance. But I have a little dilemma. We have permission to investigate, but we don't have the authority to make arrests. In Japan, only the Japanese police are allowed to make arrests. You got a point there. But it's not our, our investigation.、We、can't make an arrest without sufficient evidence. There is evidence. That's why my colleagues and I came to Japan, hoping for some help from you guys. Colleagues? They're at the embassy now. Tanamura san, would you come with me for a bit? Okay. I'm in the middle of something, but alright! What is this place? We don't have cell phones that work in Japan right now. So this is our rendezvous point. I see now. That's why you couldn't follow that officer to the police station. The criminal we're seeking won't be in Japan for long. So we have to investigate quickly, along with the embassy and Japanese police. Tanamura san, would you please help us? We have to catch our criminal. Me? Yes, I beg of you. We'll take care of the investigation, but we need you to come along to make the arrest. I'm not sure. It sounds like more trouble than it's worth. But I guess the station will make me do it later, even if I refuse right now. If that's the case, that'd be easier for me if I did this, did this my way. Alright, I'll help. Really? Thank you, thank you, Tanamara san. By the way, 
I have no problem arresting the criminal, but you guys don't have guns, right? Isn't that dangerous? I don't usually carry a gun. A police officer's job is to capture criminals, not kill them. Says you, lady. You know how many people I've already killed in the last episode alone? That's true. You've done a good job staying alive. Don't you have dangerous cases? I mean, I look at it, but I pack a pretty strong punch. Stronger than any of the gangs here. Really? Wouldn't have, wouldn't have guessed. I can't win a head-on slugfest with men, though. I use their own strength against them. So you get a parry, I guess. I prefer countering to simple brawls, too. So I can understand your logic. Oh, yeah? We should try sparring together, then. Sparring? Yeah. That way we can share techniques and help each other get better. Sparring is important, no matter what martial art you practice. I don't know if my style could be a martial art. But all right. While we spar, you can update me on the progress of the investigation. Sounds great. Come here anytime and I'll fill you in. Okay. And have time then. Oh, am I actually going to learn shit from her too? Yeah, I was meaning to ask you something else. Have you heard of Revelations? Oh, have I now? Revelations? Yeah. Are there times you can have epic revelations just by witnessing certain special events throughout the city? Interesting. So it seems like Mac only showed up for Akiyama. I feel like he has to show up for Kiryu though, right? To, to explain what our revelations are. But so far, he's only he's only actually showed up to explain to Akiyama and not the other two. People like us that turn regularly can use that inspiration to discover new techniques. Revelations, huh? I think I understand, but I'm not sure I know how it works. You witness the perfect shot. Make sure you record it somehow. At least that's what someone told me. But keep in mind most of the various new things I've seen since coming to Japan. I already have some technique-worthy material. That's interesting. I'll try using the notepad. I always carry it. The, I can't always carry the next time I see something. Worth a try. I'll keep an eye out for things going on around town, too. Anyway, sorry to ask so much of you. I may not be here for long, but I appreciate your help. Uh, Supporting Detective Nair. Wait, what is it? Tomer has agreed to help Nair, a female detective from another country, locate and apprehend a criminal. Help her investigation by listening to what she has to say and gathering info. There may be something in it for Tanamura too. Oh no, okay. She okay. I thought the whole police scanner thing was there was his like training thing. No, he, he actually literally has someone to train him, just like Saigo and the master guy. Gotcha. And then I assume Kira's gonna have it too, and it's probably it's it's gonna be Kamaki again, right? Because it fucking always is. Oh. Would that be? <gasps> the perfect shot. Well, goddamn, I asking that shall receive, Nico. Okay, but let's get that perfect shot. Look at that perfect shot that I got lose there for you. This week brings three beauties. First up, we have a girl asking for donations to the hotel district. Folks there are too poor to give much of anything. Good luck, kid. And number two, a flirty couple tries to ha their hands at UFO catcher at the Club Sega in Theater Square. Here's a chance to show off a little, a little winter hot. Final number three, danger near West Park. The air's under construction, so wild the bicycles. I smell trouble waiting to happen. Well, that's nice. At least give me, all, give me probably all of them right off the bat. I think Sajima actually had four, and then Akiyama had three. But before we do that, let's uh, talk to you. Tana Marisom, what can I help you with? Sparring. Want to spar for a bit? Sounds good. What's your work on today? Start through the basics of parrying. Everything starts with the basics, I guess. It's just sparring, so you can't use any weapons or items. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ready as ever. Let's get started then. Wow. Come at me. Oh shit. You parry me, I parry you. Oh, get fucking right. Uh. Kick. Oh, god damn. No, they did the same thing for me. Stop it. You stop that. Uh. Uh. Oh, she broke out of it. Ow. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at, look at this. Bitch, come at me. Fucking, I will shoot you. Oh, god. I'm like, maybe I should just go for taps here. Oh, God. Fine. Come for me. That's nice. You don't want to fucking attack the person on the ground. It's like, stop. Ah. I want you to step on them, please. Who is this? She's kind of tough. Can't get really a full combo out. Yeah, she just does that. It's like she surges around like a dot on a dime too, so I can't really like. Oh, I can't even heal myself. Fuck me, dude. 
So I can't like attack her from behind. Yeah, I cannot get a finisher on her. She just will always parry that last move. Oh my god, I did it. I don't believe it. Die! Whoa. Not bad, Tom Mursan. It really taught me a lot. I got the hang of parry now. Active parry time increased. Dope. Good job. You have a lot of techniques I've never seen before. That's very educational. That'd be of service. Let's do it again oh. sometime. Sounds good. Hey there. Oh, Marcus. How was the investigation? I got some good intel. Hmm? Who's this? This is Tom Marison. He's a Japanese detective and is helping with the investigation. Really? It's great. My name is Marcus. I'm also an investigator. Came to Japan with Nair. I'm Tanamara. Nice to meet you, Marcus. So how about that good intel? Right. Gigi was spotted nearby. Why? Funny, the, vo the voice thing keeps getting mixed up with, with her for some reason. Again, her mouth was moving and it's him talking. Gigi was spotted nearby at the club frequented by foreigners. GG. The name of our suspect. He uses fake names so no one can track him down. I think she's just, she's just like the, the greatest Ventura Quest of all time. <laughs> or actually, no, I guess they would be the Ventura Quest and she's the puppet. Or something, I don't know. Sure for a good game, like what you play after a round of something. It's a cynical way to poke fun at the people's, at the people he beats, I guess. As if it were a game. I see now. Doesn't sound like he takes the police very seriously. Got that right. But it seems that the very same G, same GG was just drinking at a club. Where'd you hear that? From this guy who happened to be there. He works as an interpreter. Apparently, God, it's so distracting. It really is like, what the fuck? I don't know how nobody noticed this. Apparently got drunk and yelling. I'm GG at the top of his lungs. Wait a second. That doesn't necessarily mean he's the same GG you guys are looking for. You're right. But it's at least a lead to follow. I'm going to the, over to the club to find out everything I can. Thanks, Marcus. Let me know if something turns up. Will do. <laughs> it does the, you know, the turn away and run animation that enemies do after I beat them. Just wait. Won't be long now. Forgot. I wanted to ask you something. What? What crime did this GG commit? He murdered an entire family and stole their money. And in the most atrocious of ways. Two parents and their son. The crime scene was so horrific, the victim's bodies were unrecognizable. He did all that just for the money. I don't know. That family did nothing to deserve such a cruel fate. Why do you say that? Perhaps he has some really bad grudge or something. No! Not a million years. Nah. I just... I won't believe it. Don't tell me. <gasps> Was it her family? I'm afraid so. It was my parents and brother that he killed. I was safe at a friend's house that day. Sorry. I didn't mean to get so gloomy all of a sudden. No. Don't apologize. Sorry for making you talk about it. I'm fine. Became a detective for the sole purpose of personally solving this case. Don't look so upset. We have to stay sharp. Right. Come back to spar again, okay? I'll show you how a real fighter does it next time. Heh. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Uh, really didn't bother to heal me? Thanks, game. I was like wondering if I should reset the area, potentially. See if that, like... Uh, oh, there's a fucking... Of course, there is a freaking sub-story, too. Maybe the game glitched or something. I'm gonna just trigger the substore real quick. But like, I'm gonna exit the area, come back, and see if maybe that fixes it. Cause it is really, it is really distracting to see her talking when he's talking. Oh, John, help! It's dead. You gotta help my dad. What's wrong? They took him away. Who did? What happened? These scary guys burst at Homeland and harassed us about a woman named Nadine. Do you know who they were? No, but I think. The, I th think I know where they were headed. Somewhere off Sinryu Avenue. Please, Machai, you gotta save my dad. Don't worry, I'll get him back in one piece. You just head back to this restaurant where it's safe, okay? Yeah. No, I'm going to. I have a feeling you'd say that. Fine, but we gotta hurry. They can keep up? Of course, I can. By the way, Machan, I brought these for you in case you were tired. Hope you like them. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. You're the best. Let's get going. I'm right behind you. Uh, I assume she's just gonna teleport me over there. Oh no, she's actually following me. Which probably locks me in now. And we do have some other substories out here as well. Oh, wait. oh. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't know any Nadine. 
We're in no hurry, old man. How about we take a trip to the office and jog your memory there? I have nothing to say to you. Now keep your filthy hands away from me, you damn dirty ape. Come on, guys. Do I really need to remind you of the legal ramifications for abduction? Or are you actually that dumb? Who the hell are you? Does it matter? All you need to know is I'm taking Zaus on back. This might get dangerous, Maywa. Hang tight for a minute. All right, assholes. Let's see what you got. Kick some bikes into you, maybe. Oh, wait, these are glued to the wall. Never mind. Woo! Ow. Kick it. Come here, bitch. So I think each one of these moves can actually evolve, which is pretty sick. I haven't got one yet, but... Come here. Oh, shit. That's fine. He's got, like, no health left. Uh, that was a fast input. Hey. You hurt you, Annie. Yeah. No, I'm fine. Didn't mean to get you involved. They were looking for a woman named Nadine, right? She your buddy or something? Nadine came here from the Philippines to seek better financial opportunities. But the authorities found out she was working illegally and now they're trying to chase her down. And she sought help from the Asian getaway, I, I'm assuming. Correct. She was actually at the restaurant the time those thugs showed up. Luckily, she was in the back room and got the hell out of there as soon as she heard the commotion. All right. They knew where those people are just now. Not the authorities, that's for sure. My guess is they're responsible for bringing illegal immigrants into the country. In other words, human traffickers. They must be afraid that if Nadine gets arrested, she'll lead the police right back to them. Makes sense. But now she'll be, she'll be coming this way anymore. Gonna be a real pain in the ass to find her. There's one method you can try. Yeah? I'm all ears. So, there's this fortune teller over on Tekaichi Street. <laughs> what, the, the, the post-game one? I mean, the, the, the extra shit? No, Sal, there's no point in doing that, because I can't get any of the items anyway, because I need all three of them. I probably can only do it as Kiryu. Wait, what are you talking about? God damn it, Sal, did you not read the game fact about this game, dude? The what? Ah, God damn it. God damn it, Sal, I feel like I am speaking another language to you. Maybe you help trap an AD now. A fortune teller? Is that seriously the best you can come up with? Or are you just kidding? Oh, it's no joke. In fact, this lady is known for being freshly accurate with her predictions. Kind of spooky, if you ask me. Sure sounds spooky. Whatever. If the other one is recommending it, then I guess I have nothing to lose. Where's this place exactly? Mela Tenkaichi Street, right next to a host club called Stardust. Okay, your sub fortune's on our side, huh? Also, I'll get some bonus items if I, if I feel so inclined. Oh, Drunken Brawl report in Serio Alley. I was just over there. Come on, Zao's over there in some fucking Drunken Brawl. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. It, it is the literally exact same spot I was a second ago. I ain't you was running a fast run fight. This guy did was coming from late to auto late like that. I'm gonna be as with that. I'm with the police. Enough already. You get in the way here. What's that? Take a hike, pal. We're gonna fight everybody now? Ah, shit. Camarocho man. More like Camarocho men. Oh my god. Dude, that's a lot of guys. Ah! Nah, fuck this. Eat my fucking sword! Oh, I like that when I pull my sword out, I actually hit them in the in the process. Fucking die! Arrgh! Got you like a goddamn pig! <laughs> Fuck it! Just mow them down, Tanamura! No mercy! This is fucking police justice right here, baby! Jeez, what the hell are you guys doing? Are you worried what, what about what people will think? I like me running around with my scimitar in the fucking streets. Whatever happens, I get the guys who work here about this. These days, forget about it. Give me your goddamn money. That's right. That's why I keep quiet about it. You gotta pay me off. Where's Bob Uchimuchi, bitch? Welcome, welcome. What can I your amazing, amazing psychic powers do for you today? I'm looking for a Filipino woman who's gone missing. Her name's Nadine. Nadine, you say? Was she your sweetheart? You must let go of what is gone. 
Accepting the inevitable is simply a part of life, young man. Are you going to help me or not? <laughs> My friend Southside over here in Little Asia said you have the power to see the unseen. Ah, uh, yes! I also have DLC items from Japan only! Woo! All for the little price of nothing! The fuck are you talking about, lady? You high? Little bit! But my services do not come cheap, Detective Tanamura. You know who I am. Yes, I can see your future. And also, you've got your name been printed on your shirt. Oh. What sort of psychic would I be if I didn't at least know that? Naomi sees all, knows all. Right. Okay, then. You know when Nadine is. What are you doing? Silence. The great and powerful Naomi must concentrate. Yes, yes! I see a name. Saki-chan. You should go ask Saki-chan. Saki-chan? She will give you the information you seek. You're not giving me the runaround, are you? Hm. If you do not trust my powers, you can take your business elsewhere. Fine. Just tell me where I can find this Saki-chan. Near Pink Street. She'll be wearing a purple scarf. Thanks. This goes well. You have yourself a new customer. Hm. Come again. Bobble Chimochi, what about me? Bob, you're the- Hey! I had to step out for that scene. Bob Chimochi, bitch, what you want? Got any cool uh, DLC bullshit? Yeah! Alright, I'm gonna get- This clown's freaking me out. I'm getting out of here. Hey, there she is. Damn. Is that Saki, John, huh? Well, guess no one explicitly said what kind of woman she'd be. In a purple scarf. Can I have gotten some other clue? An accessory that anyone could, could wear isn't exactly a distinguishing feature. Hey there. Would you happen to be Saki-chan? Oh, hey there yourself. Don't tell me. You're about to use a pickup line, weren't you? Isn't he adorable, folks? Actually, I'm looking for, looking for somebody. A woman named Nadine. Oh, shit. Ah, shit. <laughs> hey, get back here. Why are you running? Why are you running? Get away, tubby. Damn, Saki Chan, you're running fast. Hold this. Ah, shit. Do it again. Ah, fuck it out of my way. Ah, shit. Nice toss there. Tana Murray, a sack of shit. Do it again. Yeah. <laughs> like they, when you chase them, they just they just run a big they just run a big old circle. <laughs> hey baby. Can't wait to get Kiryu to chase somebody again so I can hear him go <laughs> when he picks him up. <sighs> Look, I think you have the wrong idea. I'm not after Nadine. In fact, I'm trying to help her. Are you really? Cross my heart. So what's with, up with the whole chase sequence as soon as you saw my badge? You hiding something? Well, the thing is, I help people. Help them how? I use my connections to help foreign women when the cops or criminals come for them. So I take it you know Nadine, then. What would you do if you found her? Let me put it this way. She'll be dead if I don't find her first. And I'd like to get her home safe before that happens. All right. I know where she is. I'm actually the one looking after her. Great. Can you take me to it to see her then? Well, you do seem like a decent guy. Alrighty, Pooh. You just follow me. Welcome to an office full of destructible objects. See ya, Nadine. Yes. He says he's here to help you, dear. Really? Yep. Had a heck of a time trying to find you, too. Nice work. She's not out of trouble just yet. Those creeps have her passports. You can't get home without it. You mean, the human traffickers? I take it you've run into them already. Well, it's not only trafficking they do. They're in charge of managing the women they bring in, too. Managing? In what sense? They take the women's passports so they can't escape, and then give them just enough money to eke out a meager living. They're essentially modern-day slave drivers. Ugh. That's terrible. I hate bastards like that the most. You have any idea where they were, where they are? In a dilapidated food warehouse in the docks. I want to go home to the Philippines. Don't worry. I'll get your fat passport back. You will? Yep. Just leave it to me. 
embarrassing. Yeah, this time involving another Filipino woman. Standoff reported in the building behind the Kotoboki Buki Drugs. Suspect is armed and dangerous. All units report. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, behind the drugstore. So. Ah, yes, over here. What's the situation? We chased down a suspect who branched the gun on the street. But every time he got close, he starts shooting at us. Sounds like he's being super irresponsible with his gun. Unlike me, who's very responsible all the time. And let me talk this guy for shooting the air. It's a small time crook with his back to the wall. I'll take care of it. Hey, how's it going? I'm just hanging out here all by myself. I want the police. Why don't you just come quietly and make things easier for the both of us? Ugh, another pig. I should have shot you when you walked through the door instead of standing here like a dumbass. I don't bet you I can take you. Bring it on. You've got a gun? Well, it's all right. It's because I do too. Check this out. Fear me. Fear me. Ah, oh. oh, yeah. Well, look at this. Yeah, that's right. Oh, fuck this. Uh, 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 just check out my cool moves. Uh, uh, oh my god, he's the fucking Matrix. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, come on, give me this thing. Uh, block him with the table. Come here, come here. Uh, 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 come here. Uh, hold on, reload. Stop punching me. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, me. Ah. You fucking suck, dude. Ugh, nice to hand him over. Man, what a pain. Hey, let's go. Ah, shit. Fuck. I think you broke my dick off, dude. What the fuck? Ah. Man, to arrest him. It was all thanks to you, tatamaya san We literally did nothing while you did everything. Yeah, I know. I, w I was there. Please take this. So thanks for all the help. Money! I love money. Damn, this game sure has me going to the docks pretty frequently, doesn't it? Before we do that, let's go talk to my pal and learn some more new moves. And hope that they've stopped bugging out. Check investigation. What is, what is that? How's investigation coming along? Here's a breakdown of the current situation. The criminal is a Southeast Asian male in Japan. Nara and her colleagues have permission to investigate, but no authority to make arrests. The criminal's codename is GG. GG murdered Nara's parents and brother, making off with their money. A witness identified someone resembling GG at a commercial club. Popular among foreigners. An interpreter was also secured. Ah, I see. Okay. And every time we spar, Hi. we'll learn some new shit. Gotcha. Mm. Spar for a bit. Spark up movement, so wear you down your opponent. Guess it should act as if I'm fighting an um, opponent then. Okay, let's do it. Like I said before, it's just sparring, so you can't use any weapons or items. Are you ready? I was born ready. Ready as ever. Wow, that lasts a long time now. Jesus Christ, that's insane. You don't parry me, I ain't parry me! Uh, uh. Uh, bleh, uh, bleh. Can I do any heat access to you? Oh my God, lady, you were so annoying. What if I can do heat access on her for some reason? I see my, like, my uh, down move prompt to work on her. I give up. Tell Mercy, are you sure? You sure are good. That was a good spot. I think I, I got the hang of this now. Learn the essence of seizing. Marco should be back here any minute. You talking about me? I say, <laughs> talking about me, I say, as my mouth is glued shut. Good things only, I trust. Marcus, did you visit that club? <laughs> Became friends with the interpreter witness. Show me around. It was a big help. According to staff working at the club that day, Gigi wouldn't say anything about himself until he started drinking. That club is frequented by more foreigners than Japanese. So it wasn't a, a, it wasn't a language issue. Usually people talk, talk about someone that at a place they can talk in their native tongue. Exactly. People that can't speak Japanese are tempted to go to places like that to meet people they can talk with. But that's not the case with Gigi. He went to the club by himself and drank without talking to anyone at all. What if it was a rendezvous? Yes, that's the only possibility. Gigi was there to meet someone else. Wonder if that was the reason he came to Japan, or is there something else? If that was the case, why would he get stupid drunk and yell like that? Maybe he drank too much while he was waiting, but it is a pretty dumb thing to do. In either case, there's a strong possibility that Gigi at the club is the very same Gigi that we've been looking for. I'm close with that interpreter now, too, so I'll try to dig up more info if I can. All right. Thanks, Marcos. 
By the way, where's Garcia? Was he supposed to be at the embassy? Apparently, he ran into some trouble getting to the embassy. To take the embassy to contact the Japanese authorities. I was told that it's going to take a bit more time. Garcia? Another friend of yours? Yeah, he knows a lot about international relations, so I'm having him take care of our communications through the embassy. Good thinking. If that GG is our killer, that's probably the best way. Either way, we have to keep investigating while Garcia does his part. I'm going to do some more work. When Garcia gets back, tell him to stay here and wait for me. Ooh. Got it. Ah! <laughs> Marco's quite the hard worker. Being able to fucking talk, th talk through you like the weird puppet that you are in there. I know, right? I don't even know how he does it. He feels the same way I do. He was a friend of my brother. Oh, really? My brother was a genuinely kind and intelligent guy. Marcus and I both really loved him. That's why we can't believe that what happened. Marcus worked as a cop at the time, and he helped me out when I decided to become one too, in order to find the killer. He's a friend. A truly irreplaceable friend. I see. Well, wait near maybe my job, but this is just boring. Come back whenever you have time, okay? I like it. Seemingly, like, I'm helping with the case, but more I'm just, like, fighting her, and then things happen. <laughs> Marcus is going to come in with some new plot. For sure. All right, what's the, uh, thing of seizing? Essence of seizing. A grand technique where you defend against an enemy that is a small weapon and then steal it. Oh, that's awesome. Holy shit. Damn, this really is just proto-snake style. Chango when an enemy attacks with a knife. Give me that shit. All right, let's spar. Let's go a few rounds. Don't forget to use what you learned. we learned. Right. Except for this, just sparring. Nothing specific. Is that still... Am I still progressing? Oh, that, that moves pretty good. If I can hit her with it. Yes, I found the secret to, to get to get her. It's really, it really is this this one move here. Ugh. If, I can, if I can hit her with it, it stuns her. My God, lady, please. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, that's it. By the way, heard about any incidents around town lately? Incidents? Thought there might be stuff going on around Comrade or Ladas. Oh, I see. I hear it. About anything that does happen on my, my radio, so I'll make sure to check out anything relevant. Thanks. Keep me posted. Will do. So I, go investigate is this possibly related to Nair that I heard on, here on the radio. Oh, okay. No, it, it, okay. I was like, I was kind of wondering if, like, there was going to be any, like, progression on my part that I had to do. So there is. It, it's this. So I guess I just got to kind of stumble across this shit. Oh. Oh. Is this a... Uh... Oh, this is a thing. Here we go. See the see the dialogue here. Yep. Nani? Orewa. Orewa? I'm writing it down now. Yeah, he's a god of awesome. Holy shit, check this out. Uh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, that's karma, bitch! Fucking dead! He was no match for the hustle and bustle of Kamarocho. He got clocked hard when he was off guard. Karma's a bitch, huh? Got clocked hard when he was off guard. Yamada! <laughs> oh yeah! Arr! Dope. Interesting. So he, he doesn't even do it his on the phone either. Full of himself, a man made a high school girl cry, but in the end, it was his own deeds that brought about his downfall. Surprise attack to the head from one's blind spot can knock somebody out. It's a revelation. Strike from an unseen position. Faint afterwards. Essence of skull crushing. Get fucked. Fucking dead. Knock a defenseless opponent in the head and say sweet dreams with this brutal attack. Triangle when grabbing an enemy from behind. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, service on Nakamichi Street. Suspect is armed and dangerous. Ah, fuck. That's way down here. That's not close by at all. Hold on, I'm looking for, uh... 
the freaking uh, revelation up in the hotel district. And oh, here we go. Oh, I start with you. Okay. Oriwa. Is that condom? What was this money to begin with? Backwards between backwards between the legs? Damn, that girl made a pretty nice catch. Uh I think it's gotta be that. Uh-oh. No, I wasn't right, shit. It must have been backwards behind the legs. Shit. All right, let's go ahead and head to the docks and find the thing. Problem with all these nice looking men over here. The warehouse in the docks, huh? And this must be the guys who took Nadine's passport. Excuse me. I'm here for the passports you've been stealing from four women. Wait a minute. Are you? Yep, you bet I am. If you don't want to get hurt again, hand over the passports. Make it quick. You're the one cocky son of a bitch, you know that? All right, you're up. Come on out. Oh, what? The hell do you feed this guy? Milk? Beef? Growth hormones? <laughs> the pulver out of this punk. Ah, shit. That's a thick ass boy. Damn, my, a big ass boy. Damn, my. <laughs> ah, come here. Come here, tubby. Ah, I'm gonna break your feeding hand. Arr, Oh, 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 I've seen this one. Oh, that man is dead. Ugh. How many times must I, must I say it? Give me the passports. Fine, just take the damn things. Just to let you know, I got a call from Nadine this morning. She got home safe and sound. Good to hear. I hope this means this fewer migrant workers like her will suffer through the same shitty experience. I don't mean to be sour, puss, but even though you busted up those jerks at the warehouse, this kind of thing will still go on. Why do you say that? Because men like that are everywhere. They're only after one thing, the almighty yen, and they'll stop at nothing to get it, even if it means ruining countless lives. There has to be someone at the top pulling the strings. You're saying there's a mastermind of the sex industry, a ringleader making millions off the lives of female migrant workers. Awful as it is, that doesn't sound too far-fetched. Right. Every power structure has a, its person in charge. You have any leads on where this ringleader might be? Not really, but I have heard those traffickers drop the name Bridge before. That could be a clue. Oh, this this must be... This is actually Tanamura's uh, overarching long sub stories series of sub stories gotcha wait did you say just say bridge oh you know him my dad left notes about someone named bridge all all throughout his notebook oh sorry i should probably clarify what i mean by that no need i know all about you detective tanamura of the kpd how did you I heard about you from naomi san the fortune teller tell me what specifically did your father's notebook say about bridge Apparently, Kay and my dad were investigating him. And who was Kay? Another detective who worked with my dad. But damn, never would have guessed that Bridge was some sort of sex trafficking kingpin. So this could get ugly. Do you intend to find this Bridge and expose him? Oh yeah, especially if this is the same guy my dad was after. Still don't have any idea who Kay is though. Have you done your research? I looked up all the detectives who ever worked a case with my dad. But none of their names start with K. And there's no one on file on, on Bridge either. I think K and my dad were investigating Bridge off the record. 
You know, the more you look into this, the more you're going to uncover about your past. What are you trying to say? Taiga Tanamura was my senior detective. You were... A detective? Judging from what you just said, I'm sure you know Ta... 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 I was saying Taiga. Ta... Taigi wasn't my actual dad, right? Mm-hmm. Then you know who my real dad is. I can't comment on that. All I can say is, if you don't want to get hurt by what you find, it's just you leave this case alone. So he was so he was adopted then, I see. Huh. I won't get hurt. That's impossible. Oh. See, no matter who my real dad is, I'm still gonna be the same guy. Let the past be the past, you know? By the way, why do they call this guy Bridge? Couldn't tell you, hon. I see. Well, I guess it's just one more case my dad left me to solve. No matter what, I'm gonna find this bridge and bring his ass to justice. Bring his ass. Give me some of that ass. Cool. This looks like a good one too. The service on? Okay, I probably should go handle that now. Oh. It's KBD. Homicide reported in front of Mock Bowl near Theater Square. We have possibility on... Oh, Koishi Yabe, a writer residing in Kamurocho. All officers in the area respond immediately. I'm mad, eh? Who the fuck? Tanamura here. You listen to, listen to your radio. Get your ass over here now. I don't get it. Why are you calling me about this? I didn't say for you to ask questions. Just get over here now. Yeah, yeah. Be right there. What the hell? Well, I guess I head over to Mockball. What the hell? Is that another sub-story? It is. I don't even know how I triggered this one. I guess it was just... We're gonna kill a mumple. I don't know why I got called the crime, so I guess we'll find out soon enough. Well, let me do the Nakabichi thing. One thing at a time, please. What the fuck is going on over here? Lay down your concealed weapons and surrender yourself. Please, NPCs, get out of the way. Stop swarming the guys that are trying to kill everyone. <laughs> what are you guys doing? You're all gonna die. Yeah, yeah, whatever, man. I don't give a shit. Get out of the way or we kill you. Hey, you guys okay? Oh, Detective Tanama. Glad they're here. They don't seem to understand a lot of Japanese. We're having some trouble. All right, I'll see what I can do. Can you shoot off the rubberneckers? Hey, you guys. How about you give it a rest? Bah, we know you Japanese police can't even shoot your guns or hurt me against the law. Yeah, tell it to my taunt. Uh, what about you cowards? Step aside. Hey, don't think I'm the same, I'm the same as you guys. You aren't tough at all without your guns. Uh, the hell did you say? I'm you right now. You can't use your gun. You can never use your gun, right? Motherfucker. Ah. Ah, take that. Oh, God. I got shot and stabbed at the same time. Ah. Oh, you fucker. Stab the shit out of me. Fuck. Kick. Clink, clink, clink. What the hell? Listen, you don't need to have dangerous stuff like that. Japan's pretty peaceful, you know? <laughs> well, maybe not Kamarocha, but yeah, 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 no. I don't care if you have them on you, but can you try to hide them better so it doesn't cause you more trouble? Japan peaceful, you make me laugh. That's right, bullshit's peaceful. There's a mafia hitman hiding in Kamarocha. Mafia hitman? In that country, he's a famous special assassin. Some mafia protege hitman. He's real dangerous. GG ever gets you in his sights, he'll kill you. You won't stay. Even you won't stand a chance. Hey, here we go. Hold on. You just say GG. That's right. It's the name of the mafia boss. You know GG? Name of that guy Nair was after was named GG too. Mafia protege assassins here in Camarocha. Must mean that GG's here with his crew. Thanks, Tom. Welcome back. We can take it from here. Oh, sure. I'll leave it to you guys then. Information related to GG, huh? Guess I'll go back to Nair and report to her. Hey, all right. Progress, but first, I gotta get a boo boo. I need a goddamn smile burger. Put a smile on my face, please. Ah, oh, that door doesn't work. Fuck me. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, please. Please, give me your happy. No, I, don't want to, I don't want to go, I want it here. Yeah, I want it here. Uh, why is that your first option? Uh, 
Fucking bleeding out, bro. Urgh. Side of fries. Ah, <laughs> oh, fast food heels. As we all know. It's funny, I'm actually noticing there's no bottomless stomach perk, I think, from any of the characters I've come across. I guess that might not be in this game. Actually, I don't know if it was... Actually, I don't think it was in 3 either, now I think about it. I think Yakuza 3 did not have a bottomless stomach perk either. That's why I think I just didn't even fucking bother, bother doing it last game. Or no, maybe I did. I don't know, I don't remember. All these games are going to blend together. Oh. Hey, here we go. Uh, who do I gotta focus on? Oh, here we go. How about you, Fub? But guys can't wait to save his life. How about having trouble with the UFO? Maybe a revelation. Oh. Oh, no, okay. I have to be inside. All right. I saw the, I saw the messages over their head. All right, here we go. Oriwa? Nandeska? Get the kid, eh? That's the karaoke cat. Just gotta believe. Come on. Uh oh. Whoa! Uh. Wow! Nice move, bro. Oh, toreta, toreta. <laughs> that was a goofy one. I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. Hmm, you hit one toe with the other to make it fall. I wonder if I can do that too. <laughs> My one toe with to make it fall. Hey, socks behind me. Boo! Oh, headbutt! Grrr. One stuffed animal was sent flying in an arc. Then hit another stuffed animal knocked it down. If I throw one person to another with great force, it might do damage to them both. It's a revelation! It might hurt more with the heel. The essence of the guillotine heel. Kill two birds with one stone by using the heel of an enemy you throw to attack another enemy. Triangle when grabbing an enemy with another enemy nearby. Well, that's sick. Yeah, I get some fucking good moves. Holy sh- holy snikes. Alleged gang extortion reports somewhere in the hotel district. Oh, well, I think I'm about to come across that. Hold on, wait. Is the girl back to do the fucking revelation? Yeah, okay, it is. Here we go. Let's try, let me try this again real quick. Alright, backwards between the legs. Here we go. Oh, wow. Holy shit, that was crazy looking. Desperate to catch the runaway 500 yen coin, the man quickly thrust his hand backward between his legs. This generated an amazing torque, and he fell to the ground. If I could apply this to a technique, it's a revelation. More power in this direction, the body will spin with great force. This is a ball and chain. Grab your enemy's hand and sen send them spinning. What the fuck? Triangle during an arm grab. Uh, master may unlock a follow-up technique. Holy shit. That looks, that looks painful. What the hell are you thinking putting your hands on my woman? Hold on, she came on to me, man! Like hell I did, you were trying to drag me up with you, with you, were you? Hold it, I'm a police officer. This is a scam, isn't it? We ain't enough of that, <laughs> seriously. I thought we left you guys behind in Kwame 1. What makes you think you can do this to honest citizens? Huh? Huh, where the hell do you come from? You really, must really want your ass kicked. See if I can't get that move. Hold, hold on, I need some heat. Okay, hold on, grab. Do this, oh, I'm all out of, ah! Ah, I got the heat back at the last second there, ah! Eek, the way! Well, I'm sorry, they kicked me up to it. It was all their idea. No, it's like somebody's saying this forget the whole goddamn thing. Thank you. Uh, Mamaru, uh, Akaishi. Uh, thanks for cooperating with our efforts. Too far in the sudden nature of this message, I'd like to speak with you. Be my usual location theater score up and come meet with me. Okay. What's up, man? Oh, good. tanamura san I've been waiting for you. Hey, Akashi-san. Mail me if I wanted to talk about something. 
Yes, yeah, some very strange rumors have surfaced about us. Rumors? That's right. Rumors that the Camaro Guard is simply a front. That we're really black market arms dealers. Any idea where that might, might have started? Haven't got a clue. Why don't you just ignore it? Unfound rumors usually just blow over on their own. That was my first thought as well. But then the police came to question me about it. I told them it's unfounded, but they claimed to have an eyewitness who said they saw one of our members involved in a shady transaction. Eyewitness testimony? Yes, someone wearing our uniform who was stealing in arms. Honestly, don't you find it a little strange that an arms dealer would dress in such a conspicuous manner? Hmm. Maybe something behind this. Ideally, we would take care of the problem ourselves, but though it's unlikely, it could be that one of our members is responsible. That's why I need your help. Since you're able to work outside our group, I was hoping you could do something. We'll pay you a reward if the, ma if the matter can be resolved. All right. I got you, son. I'll look into it. Really appreciate your help. A shady transaction. If anything gets reported, I should hear about it on my radio. Okay. Anyway, really appreciate your help. Are you just going to give me, like, other rewards, too, for doing this shit? This is a bulletin rights queue. We have a report of a suspicious transaction taking place behind Kodobuki Drugs. Dealer is suspected to be a member of the Cabo Guard. This is requested from officers in the area. Hey, miss the guy from the rumors. What are the odds? I'm immediately after I walk two feet away from that guy. It's almost like I'm in a fucking video game. Hey, <laughs> thanks again. I really owe you for this. Talk to you later. No problem. <laughs> this lets me sell my stuff without anyone suspecting a thing. Even though I raise suspicious people think it's the Comrade Guard. Ha, what a bunch of losers. Hey. Yikes. Cosplay and selling weapons? Real nice. Look, if you're causing a lot of headaches by dressing up like that. But I'm sure you already know that, don't you? I have some questions for you. So how about you come with me? The hell I will. Just come real pain in the ass. It's not gonna get rid of you. Dur, 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 dur. You sack of shit. I peacocked your mom last night. That's right. What are you gonna do about it, huh? What are you gonna. Ah, shit. He's fucking killing me. Ah, ah, oh, God. Ah. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh, God. Jesus Christ. Hey, uh, uh, uh. son. I, I caught the guy you're looking for. Wanna come talk to him? You son of a bitch. You think you can do this to me and live? Well, what do you say? Why are you doing this? Because you assholes keep getting in our way. That's why. I don't give a damn if you're the neighborhood watch or whatever. But I'll have volunteer shit screwing up our business. That's why we decided to mess around with you a little. Heh. Gosh, you son. Where does your group's numbers have gotten real low lately? We need to stop to your group's history. Don't you forget either. You get yours, I swear to God. Woo! Now just let him get away. Stop right there! Tama, son, no need to chase him down. I think I've caused you enough trouble already. Come on, Kashi, son. You okay with letting him go like this? He's fine. I'm sure they they won't use the same trick twice. I'm happy as long as they are no longer d d damaging our reputation. As long as we keep our work honest, I'm sure people will believe in us. But those guys really seem like they have it have it in for you. That may be true. Still, after this incident, I hope they they'll rethink their actions. In any case, I'm glad we were able to get through this without discovering it was one of our own members. You're a good guy, Akashi-san. I guess as long as you're satisfied with how it turned out. Tanamara-san, I truly appreciate all your help. It's a little something to say thank you. 50k! Get a lot of money rewards. We count on your assistance we run to any more trouble. You bet. Akashi-san says fine, but I don't think they're going to give up that easy. I just hope I'm wrong. It's not over yet. It's not over yet, Tanamura. Damn, I'm getting a lot of fucking heat. I tell you what, Bobby. Let's go get to uh, decrease the difficulty of executing uh, Essence of Rest Breezy Rest. And some of the signs those can be really fast. Arm lock. Arm grab an enemy and then lock their arm. It can be used multiple times. It was actually the, the stipulation for that one move. Was it, was it arm grab or an arm lock? Arm grab. Yeah, so, I, okay. I, I, already, I was already good. Uh, I guess we're we'll going to get this too. Fully charge your energy with the Spear of the Golden Dragon. Hold R2. Fucking power up like a goddamn Dragon Ball character. I find it funny that I can pick up trash in here when seemingly no other character can come in here anyway. <laughs> and I can't do anything with the trash either. That's kind of, that's kind of funny. <laughs> so that doesn't really make any sense. 
Altercation report between a restaurant employee and attempted dine dasher on North Pink Street. Ah, oh, fuck. The hell? You guys okay? Why are y'all standing in line like this? Hello? Hello? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, whatever. Well, you need to pay somehow. Sam, I said they ain't got no money. Lost my goddamn wallet. Trying to skip out of the bill? Want me to cuff you right here? Huh? Who the hell are you? Get lost! <laughs> 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 oh, yes, finally! Finally got one! <laughs> I grabbed him by his dick and threw him down. So what? Uh, well, the beast there. Pay, pay her to take a trip to the station with me. I'll pay for all these, let me pay. Yeah, I'm happy to pay for your trouble, so we just saw this quietly. Yeah, pay him and then pay me. That's how she works. You scratch my balls, I throw your balls to the ground. All right, submit report investigation. I have some info on my own. It's about GG. Really? What is it? The foreigners I arrested for possession of firearms said they were afraid of some assassin trained by GG. They had to protect themselves. Assassin trained by GG? I might know the person they're talking about. Usually these types go out of their way to hide. But here GG's so strong, he's using this guy like some kind of advertisement. So he's looking to scare the surrounding organizations into submission. Clever. The same killer is apparently still walking the streets of Camarocho. Camarocho? What if he was brought over here as a bodyguard? In any case, this means GG is not alone. So he brought backup. I don't know how many we'll have to face, but we need to stay on our toes from now on. Thanks for the info. I'll let Marcus and the others know. Okay. I'll be keeping my eyes, eyes peeled too. All right, now let's train. Let's work on punishing your opponent after parrying their attack. Oh, yes, finally. Give me something to do after the parry. Parry them to ram them defenseless and counterattack. Got it. Okay. I'm going to learn that by doing the same thing we've been doing. Yeah, I can't do heat access to her. This fight's weird in that, like, some of my moves just don't work on her. Like, I can't seem to do, like, my down attack on her. I can't seem to do fucking heat actions for some reason. Which would really would fucking help a lot. Yeah, I can't. I can't crush her in a wall. I guess it's like, it's probably, maybe this thing is too brutal because we're sparring. That's probably what it is. That's like going too far. You know what this one, I mean? Come on, we're literally beating the ever living shit out of each other. Ugh. Ugh, at least this, work, this move works pretty well. Ugh. All right, there we go. <laughs> this fucking drops like a rock. Ugh, once again, no so sparring, but I really hate losing. Now exactly how you feel. Thanks to you, I think I've gotten the hang of dealing with enemies after parrying. The essence of arm dragging. There, I got some news. What is it? Oh, Demersan's here too. Perfect timing. What's the news? Someone sighted the the same GG that was seen at the club. Now know now know of a building we apparently enters every night. Good work. That JG's our killer, and that building could very well be his hideout. Where's the building? It's over on Pink Street. Let's go check it out then. Wait, you need a warrant to enter, just enter a building like that. To get a warrant, you gotta have some degree of evidence. Sounds like I get fed up with the amount of paperwork here. I have no idea you were such a straight edge cop, Tonomura son. That's not it. If I'm the one storming into a building, I couldn't I couldn't care less about a piece of paper. But your position is a bit more complicated. If you guys enter illegally and get caught, the investigation is pretty much over. You've got a point. Guess we best stick to the Japanese rules to avoid a lot of problems. We'll have to go about this carefully. First, go by that building and find out for sure if it is, in fact, the right GG. If you get the evidence, I'll take care of the paperwork. Then we can have our, we can make our move. Got it. We'll look into it then. Nair, did you hear about the Garcia? Not a word. I just hope that he's okay. Got a bad feeling about this. I'll see if I can find out find out anything. Here's a Japanese cell phone. Take it. I'm gonna put it on your shoulder. It's prepaid so you shouldn't run into any problems. Thank you. It should come in handy. I haven't seen prepaid phones in a long time. Good job finding one. I still find them in some places. Pretty lucky that such services are still around. I'll give you one one for Garcia too. Make sure he gets it when he, when he comes back. Got it. Thanks. Alright. I'll be back later. That guy really works hard. My brother always used to say Marcos would become a police officer one day because of a strong sense of justice. 
And now Marcus is the one chasing the killer who murdered him. It's kind of ironic. You guys were all pretty close, weren't you? My brother didn't really get along with my parents, so he always confided in me. Marcus was also one of his only friends. He wasn't really a people person. I see. So Marcus working on this case is his way of honoring your brother. All we can do now is chase down the killer and make him pay. Yeah. Nobody can change the past. Exactly. There's no point in moaning about it once we put this thing put an end to this thing. Let's go out for celebratory drinks. Heh. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Okay, can I continue or do I gotta fucking go do some shit? Let's work on getting out of your opponent's grab. Virus, I guess, don't fare too well in grab. Okay, let's, let's do it. Alright. Oh yeah, I actually check and see. I'm, I'm assuming the other move is like after you parry an enemy, blah blah blah. Yep, a master submission tech technique where you use an opponent's opening to execute an arm grab. Triangle immediately after parrying. That sounds very useful. Not for this fight, but against real opponents. Kick, kick, kick. Oh, so I don't think I have what it takes to beat you, Tanamara son. So I guess I got a good teacher. I'm truly grateful. Release throw. I just don't get it. Why isn't Garcia contacting me? How caught up could he be at the embassy? Just hope everything's okay. You want me to try checking for you? Can you even do that? I think so. Let's see here. Hello? This is Tana Mara from Community Service, or Safety. I need you to look up a phone number. Huh? Hardy left. Yes, uh, right. I see. Sorry for the trouble. What did they say? Garcia was at the embassy to file some papers, but left immediately after he was done. What? But... It's likely he got involved in something. Garcia. Is there any way you can contact him? I haven't had the chance to give him the cell phone I got from Marcos yet. This may not be the best time to sit back and wait patiently. I'll go and look for more clues. Something might, might come in on the radio receiver. I'll let you know as soon as I hear something. Got it. Thanks. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ugh. Send over to Mock Bowl here. Hey, I'm here. Yes, yeah, so this is a writer for the sex industry. So he seemed to be such an expert on the subject. Thought he might have some dirt on him. Did you call me? I had to just give me some shit. Oh, what was his name again? Make an effort to remember what you hear on the dispatch, Tanamura. His name's Koichi Yabe, 35 years old. Huh. Don't know who that is. Sure about that? I'm telling you, I've never heard of him. All right, then. Thanks. You can go now. The murder victim was the sex industry writer. Something stinks about this. Who the fuck? Tanamura here. Hey, it's me. Hey, Saki-chan. I heard Zabi was killed. Not bad for a former detective. You got your info quick. So, what do you know about this Yabe? I wanted to talk to you about that. Let's meet Sherlock. Okay, Sherlock it is. Oh, no member of a weapon smuggling ring spotted on Nakamichi Street. All nearby units report. Uh oh, here we go. Damn it, where'd he go? Yo, where's this wanted criminal you were talking about on the radio? Hey, Tatamara's on. Well, you see, we kind of lost him. That's too bad. Well, guess I'll look around for him. I don't even know what they look like, but I'm going to find him. <laughs> yeah, this cap's don't give up. Hmm? Is that the one of criminal that's on the run? Hey, you there. Can I talk to you? Damn, cop. You never take me in. You never take me live. If you come along with me, we can avoid an, uh, any unnecessary violence. I can't afford to get caught. Sorry, Bobby, you're gonna have to die. Die by my fist. Oh, sir, it's all right. All these people that are around you aren't gonna let you get away either. So you're forming a perfect barrier for us. Blur, blur, blur. Ah, oh, that was awesome. Eh, look how jacked his face is, Jesus. Damn it. Don't make me waste more, more of my time. You ready to come along now? Fine, I'll come with you. I'll come with you if you protect me. 
Huh? What are you saying? Use the cops to protect me. They find out I've been caught. I'm a dead man. Who's they? Guy called GG. Once he sets the sights on you, never escape till he kills you. GG. He's the guy Nair's looking for. What did this guy, GG guy, tell you? I don't know anything. I just asked to do a job. What were he asked to do? Get a master of my firearms and a chopper. A fucking chopper? A chopper? You mean like a helicopter? That's right. But I don't know what the plane he, place used it for. That's all I know. All right, I, I got it. Just calm down. Police will take you into protective custody yet. Oh! What? Ah, ah, fat me. Dimer, you sack of shit. What the hell? You just had to fucking say it, didn't you? You just had to say some dumb shit and let me kill. Ah! Hey! Hey! Get, get it. Hey! Somebody call an ambulance! Got him out We had a gunshot. Yeah, this man was a shot. This shooter has to be somewhere nearby. What? HQ, HQ! Can you hear me? Looks like they were able to shut, shut him up. Firearms and a helicopter. I need to report this to Nair. It's getting crazy now. People are fucking dying. Or almost dying. All right, submit report. I got some information on GG. What's it this time? A weapon spire I arrested in Kamarach was apparently doing work for GG. Seems like GG ordered a large amount of guns and a helicopter to boot. A helicopter? What are they going to use that for? No clue. But the buyer was gunned down in cold blood, right in front of me. They want to make sure you didn't talk. It's terrible. This all means that the weapons have already made it into the hands of the enemy. The helicopter too, I bet. Can't hide a helicopter with at least one person noticing. I'll do some sniffing around too. Good. That'll be a big help. But in the meantime, let's spar. Mm -hmm. Don't you hear from Marcos? Not yet. Hmm. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing sticking your nose in the boss business? I brought all my guys here. Yeah, back to tell the others we found the rats, and that will take care of them. Got it, boss! Who are you? Didn't you hear what I said? You're already taken care of, got it? I don't have to explain shit to someone who's about to die. Get him, boys. So we're gonna have to fight. You take half of them, I'll take the other. The other. Got it. You luck ran right out when you made the boss your enemy. Now you two can fucking die together. Test out some of the moves I learned while training with you. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Ah. Ah, 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 ah. Grab him by the dick. Powering up. Ow. Oh my god. What the fuck? I'm getting tag teamed. Help me. Holy shit. Uh oh. Getting messed up quite badly. Dude, you fucker! Let me get up! Ugh. Alright. Ugh, powering up. Yeah, keep him distracted. You got this. Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna show my ultimate power! Power of God! Uh, uh. Alright. Come here. We're gonna do this. She's beating the shit out of him. Come on. Come on, I want to do one of my moves. Come on. Oh, wait, okay. There we go. Uh, uh, it's the move he taught me. Sensei. Uh, uh. Wait, why are you dead? What? That doesn't do damage to you? Oh, that puts, oh, puts you in the... Oh, it doesn't actually do damage. It, or well, seemingly, it... Puts them in the, uh, the throw animation, I see. Looks like that's it. That's that. Has seen these guys before? Some, for common misdemeanors. Personally, they work under GG. GG knows about, it, about us, then. Marcos! Oh, fuck! It's from Marcos. Put on speaker, so I can hear too. Got it. Hello? Hello? There, get get out of there, Marcus. Are you okay? 
to where I meet. Just get out of there. Garcia's with me. Chasing Gigi at the club is just a trap to catch us. Even the inter interpreter was. Marcus! Marcus! Listen up, you idiots. Is this Gigi? That's one of my aliases. What are you planning on doing with Marcus? We know you've got Garcia, too. That's entirely up to you. If you intend to keep snooping around, then you'll all be taking a trip to the bottom of the sea. But if you keep to yourselves, I'll let them go when the time is right. Let them go? We're not that stupid. Someone as evil as you would never be so gracious. Then do as you like. Their fate is up to you. So don't forget. Click. You son of a bitch! Goddamn you, Gigi. That's not Gigi's at all. I don't get it. What the hell is Gigi up to? I don't know what this goal is. There's something else I, I don't get. The first person to call was Marcos. If Marcos was captured, how could he be free to use the phone? The only explanation is that Gigi had Marcos make the call. Did Informer said he was okay? I guess. He kept Marcos alive and even went out of his way to let, him, let us know. Pretty sure he wants to make a deal. And if, you want, if that's the case, then he probably wasn't lying about his end of the bargain. You mean he'll let everyone go if we get keep to ourselves? Exactly. If he doesn't intend to keep them hostage to kill you, it means he's got some some kind of reason. What else is Gigi up to? I have a feeling if you do as he says to stay out of his business, you'll be all, all be allowed to return home safely. But you also miss your only chance to bring him down. Talk about tough decisions. It's out of my hands now. Ultimately, this decision that you you will have to make. You're the protagonist of your own fucking video game. I want to get the criminal who killed my family. And I'm sure Marcos feels the same. I know if I go home just because the killer told me to, I'll regret it for the rest of my life. It's gonna be dangerous. You sure you can handle it? I have to try. You're coming too, right? I'm not just gonna let up and leave. Not now. Let's settle. We'll go save Marcos. And then, we'll arrest that murderer. Right. Be sure to be in that building Marcos was talking about. Just let me know when you're ready and I'll be waiting here. Got it. Alright, I'm fucking ready. Let's go. <laughs> Bye. I'm ready. I'm ready. Great, let's do this. Let's do it. Just as long as I learn a new move in the process. This is it, I guess. Yep. I need you to show up. You know idea what you're getting yourselves into. If you're here, then this must be the right place. You sure about that? You see that NPC fucking faded from existence while walking into me? That's the power I fucking wield, all right? You want to handle this? You sure you want any of this, bro? Either way, you're not going to let it find out. Man, I'm just fucking say this shit. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, you're under arrest, sir. And they have white people left anyway. Shit, don't you move. Sorry, we don't have the time to talk. You're gonna let us in. We're coming to the office. Nice place you got here. So you came. You must be GG. No, boss is already gone. What? He warned you, didn't he? He told you not to interfere any further. I'm going to take care of you now. You can die together. We're getting your stupid mistakes as one. As one. Gang members. By members, I mean member berries. Ah! Keep that share in there. Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, fire off. Fire me. Give me this. Oh, God. This guy's a fuck ton of health. Come here. Uh, uh, ah, I said, bitch. What the? That was a professional assassin. Gigi definitely isn't fooling around. So, where is Gigi? Hmm? What is it? There's a note here on the phone. Tower. Hello, Pat. The time's written here, too. But the tower refers to Millennium Tower, because it can only, can only ever be one of those. 
Toss putting Kamarocho, right? Let's get going then. Wait. We still have a few hours till the time written on the note. If we get there first, they might see us run and run away. Then we're back to square one. We should should wait here first and make our move it right before things go down. Okay. It's about time. Are you ready? As ever. Let's go. Elevator should take us to the roof. Right. Let's go. This is where it ends, folks. Holy shit, there's so many dudes. Uh, who are these guys? Looks like they're, they were expecting us. Get things are going to get ugly. You got that right. When I'm done, you're not even your mother will recognize you. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, God, of her heel. Ah, snap a snake. Oh, here we go. Oh, break it again. I broke it one way, then I go the other way and put it back together. Then I'm going to break it again. Oh, that was cool. I'm going to see that one before. Oh, hooey. Are you all right? I'm fine. We have to hurry. Right. Marcos Garcia! Wait, isn't that... Behold. GG. I must give credit for making it this far. However, your coming here was a mistake. And I take it you realize that now, no. My guy's talking without moving his mouth. He's just like, he's just like Garcia. It can't be. Are you sure that's GG? Yeah. Nah, what's going on? Got into you. Can't blame you for being surprised. This is why I told you coming would be a mistake. What's going on? He's... My brother. Oh my god. Back from the fucking net. Yo, what? But why? It's just it appears. I killed our parents, faked my death, and took it off with our family's massive fortune. It can't even be! I'm afraid it can. But the facts are reported on the murder all lies. What do you mean? <laughs> yep, she, yep, she's still over there to mouth and forum instead. Our family operate a plant. Dealing mainly with automobile manufacturing, but that business alone could never amass its wealth. It was merely a front. Behind the scenes, they dealt in the munitions industry, selling arms. That was the true source of their enormous wealth. Wealth that I took. Publicizing my death freed me from all the political and economic responsibility. Living behind the scenes has many advantages. Can't be. Nobody can just fake their death that easily. Perhaps not Japan, but the smoothing techniques aren't so vast where I'm from. It was hardly a challenge to find a loophole. And I'm rich. I can buy my way out. Nothing is impossible for me now. This guy's ridiculous. My friends and I never saw eye to eye when it came to their money. I had to, had to get rid of them. But Nair and Marcus were always there for me when I was alone. I'm grateful to both of them. That's why I told them to stay out of your way, right? You didn't want to kill them. That's right. Even with wicked people like you aren't able to forget the people they love. But do you think your friend and sister are happy with you now? That's why I told them not to interfere. If they figured out who I really was, I would have to dispose of them regardless. Dispose? You gave yourself away the moment you said that word. If these people were truly important to you, you'd never talk of disposing them. Not ever. I'm sure even now has realized the truth about you now. You're not my brother. My brother's nothing like you. My brother is fucking dead. Brother died that day, along with my parents. You're just the criminal that murdered my family now, and you're not getting away with it. That's too bad. Would have thought you of all people would at least try to understand. You can't force your ideas on other people and expect them to agree with you. That's enough. You will die now. I'm going to make you pay. Count on it. I'm going to tired of this banter. Prepare yourself.
Prepare yourself! Does he have a gun? Oh, fuck, he does. Does he have a shotgun? No, uh, oh, no, it is definitely. Ah! You motherfucker! Ah! Ah! Dar -da -dar -da 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 Uh. Come here. Uh. Put that shotgun down, sir. Ow. I'm fucking downloading something in the back. Cool. Uh. 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 Come here. Oh, pfft. okay. That didn't work. Don't grab. Got you. Or we can just throw him off the building. Actually. I probably not, because I can't grab him, right? Yeah. Kind of can't parry a bullet, can we? Ugh. Ugh. I'll never stop breaking your arm. You sack of shit. You ever run out of bullets? Ugh. This can't be. Give up. It's over for you. All I ever wanted was for you, just for you, to be happy, Nair. If that's the way you really, truly feel, then pay for your sins with the rest of your life! That's my final wish, is your only family. Why'd you kill your parents for money? You're the eldest son. You would inherit the money either way, right? Those brainless idiots were wasting their own inheritance. How could I expect to inherit anything of my own? Wedding would have been futile. Tried reasoning with them. I even majored in management at college, but they would never even acknowledge what I was saying. They were so incompetent. They didn't even have the faculties of n to take notice of my talent. What's more, they didn't trust me, or even looking for a new successor. They had no intention whatsoever to link the family fortune to me or uh, me and there. It's true that our parents weren't interested in anything but money. But you made the wrong decision. Nobody has the right to kill another. Nair, you've grown up to be a wonderful person. I can rest easy knowing that. Tadamara-san. I know. Yeah, I know. This is Matt from the Community S Safety Division. I need men on the roof of the Millennium Tower right away. My update's done. I thought you should know, GG. Tadamara-san, thanks for everything. You really helped me a lot. I guess you were pretty shocked to find out the murderer was really your brother. What a twist! Well, of course, but honestly, I'm a little happy to see that he's still alive. Really? Well, we got the bad guy, but I bet I'm going to be pretty busy for a while after this. Why's that? For starters, Gigi's going to be interrogated here in Japan, right? I also have to start on the extradition paperwork. Oh, I see. So worst of all of this yet to come. Tadamara-san, you're not going to help? I think I'll pass on that part. Wish you all the best, Nair. Hey! You can't leave me alone now! <sighs> Just kidding. You were more, more help than I could ever have imagined. We'll take care of the rest. Ask me some way I can repay you. No worries. I was just doing my job. Plus, you taught me a lot of new techniques. The whole experience is pretty inspirational, too. That's enough reward for me. The Kamaki Farm? I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Based on the guy having a gun, I was going to learn some, like, firearm move. Funny, it's the Kamaki move, too. You're too nice. When I get back home, I'll send you a bunch of fresh fruit. Well, I ain't partial to fruit. I've been looking forward to it, then. Nair, come help me f fill out these forms. Be right there. Well, this is it, Tanamara-san. Thanks again. Right back at ya. See you around. That was a pretty nice one. I kind of liked how that one really sort of... It was just like some random dude, you know? Like, I felt more tied to, like, Tanamura and his occupation than the others. Uh, complete all their stuff. Uh, all right. Commerce's kum Kumite Master. Hot, hot dog. I am kind of curious to see what, it, what I end up getting. All right, the Kamaki Fire and Flit. Hey, taking use to enemies with guns. Learn from Nair. Triangle when it, and near an enemy with a gun. Fuck yes. That is definitely a useful move, especially for him who can't really parry bullets. Ah, oh, God, you didn't take Aichi Alley. What are you up to? Crap, cop. I ain't up to nothing. All right, whatever. Let's go. Take you, take you out real quick. Mm, what are you selling? Uh, emery cream. Hair growth restart. Two pays. What? They gotta sell us to the top yaks out there. Too embarrassed to buy their own. Come on, take this and leave me alone. <laughs> okay, whatever, man. Uh, oh, hey, I can get all the secret tree stuff now. 
Oh, and this actually might be good for him. I mean, I can, well, I can deal with guns now. I don't know. But I can't get the the ability to protect against bullets. I don't know, should I just go ahead and get that for him or should I save that for like Kiryu? I don't know, you guys can tell me. That's like, I should just wait. But all right, guys, I think I'm pretty far into this episode now. So I think this is probably a good spot to end things here for now. This is good. Again, the, the sub stories are fucking hidden hard, man. And even I think that out of all the training ones, I mean, the actual fighting her was kind of annoying because she just kept preparing everything and I couldn't even use heat actions on her. But I liked the whole case and stuff and how it actually it felt more like, you know, something relevant to what was actually happening with uh, Tanamura than any than any of the other characters than like Sajima and the mining thing and Akiyama and the crazy G.I. Joe dude. I mean, it's all like, don't be wrong, it's not like those weren't entertaining, but I think I like that this one was just seemed a bit more relevant. And it ended up leading to a fun, interesting story. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not already become a picky penguin aboard this LP where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.